Hi guys, uh, Artie here, ML Engineer at Bubbleflow. Uh, I'm here today to test out the speed of a new library called Arad Still. Um, so Arad Still basically allows you to transfer the knowledge of large foundation models and distill it to a small model that can be deployed on edge devices. So that basically means we can auto-label, train, and do inference in less than 20 minutes depending on the size of the data set. Um, today I am using a satellite plane detection data set um, so before we begin, let's make sure we install the required packages. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it here. Okay, this is the empty notebook. We're gonna start from here. Okay, let's not do that. Okay, so we will install the auto still Yola V8, which is the um, uh, target model, and then the auto still detect. That's basically the base model. Okay, we did that, uh, and then we also have to install some of the dependencies, um, which is a detector and two. Just do that. Um, also, let's make sure we install Bubbleflow. Okay. Okay, that's all good. And then um, let's import the packages. So. The detect model YOLO V8 and then caption ontology is basically used for um, uh, auto labeling the data set. Let's make sure we import the global flow as well. Okay, in order to um, import the data set, we basically go into global flow and we click on download data set and this is going to give us a code snippet that we can copy paste to download the data set in our root folder. So let's just do this. So we already um, imported the package so this is going to download the data set. Perfect, that's probably less than um, two seconds. Okay, I'm going to show the code here. So I just copy pasted the code snippet here and it took seven seconds to download the data set on my root folder. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, before we initialize the base model and start digging around with the model, let's make sure we uh, do the countdown. So we have maybe up to 20 minutes. So that's 20 minutes. Okay. Um, Let's make sure we initialize the base model. Uh, it's gonna be tick. And make sure we have the ontology. And this is gonna be a airplane. So this is just setting it up for the auto labeling process. And you can also look through our audit still documentation if you have any questions. While this is initializing, let's write the, the label code. Okay. We do base model uh, label, I think. And then um, we already initialized the data set, so we can just use data set location. And then I think, I believe it's in train images and we specify the extension which I think it's JPEG. Make sure you put the dot in there. Okay, sounds good. Okay, this is basically auto labeling the data set. I'm assuming this should probably take its over 1000 images in the training data, uh, training folder. So probably will take um, three minutes tops. Okay, while well, this is rendering, let's make sure we initialize the um, target model. Okay, we'll run this after all this. Okay, 
target model is yellow v8 yellow v8 And this is basically training. Make sure we have the data set location. And so after uh, the base model auto labels the data set, it's going to output a, a folder called images labeled so we're using that to kind of feed it into the target model okay let's do um i'm assuming 100 epochs that should that should be all right okay so yeah it's taking three minutes so almost there. Okay, this is done after two minutes, so it um, labeled the images in two minutes. It's probably like 1,000 images over. Uh, let's make sure we import this. And then start training. Okay, so we've finished training, which is great, and we did it two minutes still left. Um, let's visualize some of the results. So, okay, this is the confusion matrix. Um, it's, it's not bad. So, yeah, as you can see here, um, it detects the airplane from the satellite images, and here are the pictures of both, so compared to an airplane. So, that I think it, that's pretty good, especially that um, I didn't really label anything manually, and it was done in basically 20 minutes, I guess 19 minutes, still one minute left. So, thank you for um, coding with me, and if you have any questions, um, I'm going to share the whole notebook so you can also try it yourself.